guys, hope you're all good and well. Right guys, kids are at school, which can only mean one thing. Right, so I'm back, I've got my tea, and I'm gonna talk to you about Moroccan hammam or hammam. Now, before we start, do you like my decor? I thought it would just give us sort of the atmosphere of a Moroccan kind of bath. Basically what it is, it's a ritual that Moroccan ladies do. Not all Arabs do this, it's mainly Moroccan ladies. And what it is, in Morocco they have like these steam rooms, it's kind of a bit like a sauna, it has running water there. And what they do, they it's like a communal thing, and all the ladies they go once a week and they scrub. They scrub like hell, basically. They'll scrub, 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 and all, they will exfoliate their skin and all their dead skin will come off. And you know what, you have to see it to believe it, honestly. So I'm going to show you how you can recreate this Moroccan hammam in your own bathroom. So there's three things that you'll need. Number one, the kessa glove, which is basically like a rough mitt. Number two, your Moroccan soap. And number three, a steamy bathroom. Get into your shower, into your bath, get the hot water going, okay? You need to make it really nice and hot and steamy, okay? Then, uh, wash your hair as normal, shampoo your hair, condition your hair, then you get this, okay? And you've got your mitt, this is my mitt. So you just put your mitt on, like this. Open your Moroccan hammam. Now, but it's like a soap, it's like a, I think it's like a black soap they call it. It smells quite a bit like um, Vicks, in a vapor rub for the kids, that's what it smells like. Basically, this is made out of three ingredients. It's made out of olive oil, eucalyptus oil, and something called potash. And now that's basically some kind of potassium rock, so it's all natural ingredients, nothing dodgy in there at all. If you can see, okay, it's basically like a gel, okay? It's like a very thick gel. Okay, that's basically what it's like. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a thick gel. So you put a very tiny amount of this, on your mitt, okay? Then, this is where the hard work starts. You get scrubbing. But don't scrub so vigorously that you start bleeding. No, nothing like that. Just scrub gently. Now, I need to warn you, the first time, it's going to take absolutely ages to see any results. The first time I did it, I thought to myself, my Moroccan friends, they are just, they're just tricking me, they're deceiving me, how I can't see how all this skin is coming off, etc. And I was this close to giving up. I thought, you know what, I haven't got time for this. I've got the kids downstairs with my mom. I can hear all sorts going on. I thought, That's it. And I was just about to switch the water off and I thought, no. And then suddenly I started seeing like skin coming off, like flakes. And I was like, okay. And then I carried on scrubbing and more was coming off more and more and I was I just could not believe how much was coming off when I did it the first time okay I was actually horrified mortified appalled shocked all the other adjectives yeah all the adjectives you can think of that's what I went through because the amount of dead skin that came off my body was absolutely shocking when I came out of the shower I noticed that my skin instantly it was smoother. I actually felt like a baby skin. You know baby skin, when you feel it, it's very like smooth. My skin felt like that. Now, just like my Nivea Q, Nivea Q 10 serum, I'm going to give you evidence that it works. Again, my eczema on my hands, I've struggled with them for years. Every winter I get this awful eczema, my hands, they chap up and it's horrible and they bleed. When I did it the first time, I actually saw my hands and I thought, shall I do it on my hands? Is it worth it? I'm gonna be scrubbing things off. Is it worth it? I was a bit scared, to be honest, but, I just did it, I thought, what the heck, they're not gonna get any worse, honestly. <laughs> How can they get worse? So I did my hands. I didn't see the effect straight away, but a couple of days later, I actually noticed that my hands were smoother. So then I did it again when I went in the shower again, and they were much, much smoother, and to be honest, it's, it cured my eczema. So I, I still use my Nivea Q10, like now that winter's approaching, I can feel my hands slicing to the front, so I do use my Nivea Q10. But with, in combination with this, with these guys, it's cured my hand eczema. 
Now, I'm not saying go use it on, on like a toddler who's got eczema, I can't advocate that or anything like that. But yeah, it works for me. It works for me. I think a lot of Moroccan women find it a bit weird that we don't do this like weekly hammam. Um, and I, we find it weird that they do it, <laughs> that they do it every week and it's part of their their life, part of their culture. Um, you know, they go to these hammams and they, you know, they have a chat and a natter with, you know, the friends or the neighbours and after they finish they're going to have a cup of green tea. Oh, that's the life I tell you. Anyway, so yeah. You can do it in your own bathroom. I've got Moroccan friends here and they all do it in their bathrooms. They get the hot water on, just, 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 all of it coming down and they get this and this and they scrub away. And that's why they've got beautiful, beautiful skin. That's their secret. You can get it from Amazon um, and the cost, I'll just find out. Okay, so it's £14.79 from Amazon and this as well, this is just your Kessa glove. Um, this is Essence of Morocco. So if you just type that into Amazon, search, you should get that as well. This costs £6.85, okay, uh, and it's definitely worth it. This will last you a very, very long time. This might last you a year because you only need a tiny amount. This again, just replace it when you feel it's a bit like sandpaper. <laughs> so obviously eventually I think it will need replacing, um, but it should last you a while as well. Also, it's very, very important not to get disheartened, okay? So carry on scrubbing, keep going. The first time, like I said, that will take the longest time to see any skin or any anything come off. After that, you will see your bath floor or your shower floor will just have lots of ugh, on it, okay? <laughs> and that's all your dead skin coming off. So instead of it being on your body, making you look all dull and rough and ugh, no, it's gonna be there, gone, bye-bye, down the drain, adios. The health benefits, honestly, this is, I'm, I'm talking from experience, I'm not talking from like, you know, oh, it should do this, and the pack says it will all do this. From my experience, it makes you feel physically better, emotionally better. It's like a physical and emotional detox. You know when you've had a shower, and you come out of the shower, and you're like, oh, that was a good shower. I needed that. Well, this is like times 10. You're gonna feel so clean, so light and airy and lovely. Not just that, because you're massaging, you're basically leaving your whole body a massage whilst you're in there, improving your circulation, your digestive system, you're gonna be doing your tummy, so if you've got any problems down there, you haven't been to the loo in a while. My skin, when I use it, when I do it on my face, my face is brighter, it's smoother, uh, it's better than the those other exfoliating scrubs that you buy. You can get a separate one for your face, which is upstairs in my bathroom. It's just like a, like a, like a round one, and that's just for your face, but it's basically the same thing. I think I've covered everything. Guys, uh, I've got a feeling that you might struggle with this one because it does take a bit of getting used to this does. So if you've got any comments or any questions for me, how to use it, you're not sure if you're doing it right, or anything like that, just in the comments section, ask me and I'll be more than happy to advise you how to use it, if you're doing it right, if you're doing it wrong, okay? Um, yeah, that's it really, just, yeah, just enjoy, enjoy it, you will thank me, you really will, and you're gonna be telling everyone about it once you get the hang of it. Okay guys, um, hope you enjoyed this video, hope you found it useful and informative, bright my little beauties. Uh, next time I'm thinking I might do foundations, I've got two foundations, I'm gonna compare them, or I am comparing them now, I'm wearing one now, but I'm not going to tell you which one it is until the video, and you can tell me which one you think looks better. I'm going to try them out, and I'm going to compare them, and then I'm going to do you guys a review on it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye!